Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO, BMW of North America, Ludwig Villisch. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BMW. Los Angeles is a very important market for BMW because it is the center of car culture in the US and it is a vanguard of sustainable thinking. These two elements are important to BMW. That is why we have a strong presence here with our Design Works office in Newbury Park, California and our tech center in Mountain View, California. BMW's goal is to be the leading provider of premium mobility and services. We achieved this last year, worldwide and in the US. But we know there are exceptional challenges the market has faced this year. Yet, despite these challenges, we expect another record sales year for the BMW Group worldwide and in the US. As of last month, sales of BMW vehicles increased 21% for a total of over 26,000 cars compared to 22,000 vehicles last year. Year to date, the BMW brand is up close to 7%. In October, our best performing vehicles included, of course, the all new 3 Series up 26%, the new 6 Series up 86%, and the X3 up by 40%. And in the last three months since it went on sale, we've sold over 4,000 BMW X months, the latest member of our sports activity vehicle. These represent some of our newest and our best selling vehicles and ones where we are doing everything we can to take advantage of a strong market demand. In sales, it is always good to have one more customer than the number of products you have available. This year, we experienced unprecedented demand for our products, and at the same time, model change plans affected supply of some of our most popular models. Most notable was the rollout of the new 3 Series sedan, including its latest X-Drive version. The 3 Series is at the core of BMW brand and represents almost half of the vehicles we sell. And today, we are excited that the BMW 3 Series is once again named a 10 best by car and driver, believe it or not, for the 22nd consecutive year. The good news is uh, we have a full production pipeline of these vehicles that are already arriving at US dealers, and there is more to come to meet customers' demand. We know the heart of our success is our expanding line of new and exceptional vehicles. Our product offensive has continued and by the end of this year over 60% of our vehicle lineup will be represented by more than 14 all new or significantly refreshed models including some you see here on the floor today. This is the most ever in one year for BMW in the United States. This momentum continues into 2013 as we launch 11 new and refreshed models in this country. To highlight a few, a stunning example of this new 7 Series here in, on display around the corner, finished in all new color frozen white, and it showcases BMW Individual, in which a buyer can individually customize a BMW to his or her personal taste. BMW Individual is also represented on the stand today by the impressive new Individual Performance Edition BMW X6 right over there. It is fitting that these two vehicles are making their North American show premiere in Los Angeles, a city where many of our customers proudly special order their BMWs. This year, we've also launched the new BMW X1. This new BMW family member opens up a new segment of young, sport-minded drivers looking for an attainable BMW experience. We are exploring vehicles specifically tailored to the desires of this new customer, such as the BMW Concept K2 Powder Ride on display over there, designed in conjunction with K2 for the cold weather sports enthusiast. BMW's commitment to sustainability is clear in our efficient dynamics philosophy, which supports our goal of reducing emission 
and fuel consumption while making vehicles that are accelerating to drive. As an example of this commitment, this year we've launched our fleet of active hybrid vehicles in the 3, 5 and 7 range. These four hybrid vehicles have a capacity to run on either gasoline or electric and they incorporate intelligent energy management to further maximize efficiency. At the same time, they retain all the performance characteristics expected from the ultimate driving machine. Further underscoring our commitment to sustainability is the expansion of our diesel power variants coming to the US next year. We are pleased to announce that next year the new 3 Series sedan and the sports wagon will be available with a 184 horsepower four-cylinder diesel engine. The 5 Series sedan will be available with a new six-cylinder diesel. Both will provide exceptional fuel mileage with the performance expected of a BMW. This entire range of vehicles surrounding me, as well as those coming in the near future, contain the essence of our view of the world of premium vehicles. A balance of performance and sustainability. And for us at BMW, nothing exemplifies the arrival of the future premium vehicles more than BMW i. To tell you more about BMW i and show you some of the latest concepts, here's BMW's global head of design, Adrian von Heuler. Adrian, the floor is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Good, evening. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real pleasure for me to be back in LA, uh, a city that I was able to call my home for almost five years. And I can tell you then from my own experience uh, that this is a great place to live uh, and be creative as a designer. And this is why uh, we have a design studio quite near here in Newbury Park. Uh, it is called DesignWorks USA and it's actually quite special, uh, also in my own experience. Uh, it's special in the sense that uh, at DesignWorks we not only do car design or motorcycle design, we actually work for a wide variety uh, of clients uh, out of uh, very different industries. Uh, we do some airplane design, train design there, or, uh, for example, uh, we design furniture. Um, in this case, uh, also on display here on the show stand, uh, some chairs that we have designed for an American company called Allsteel that uh, are in the lounge over here. Um, so this is actually just testament uh, to the importance uh, of design, and I believe there is uh, no uh, design studio uh, in the world uh, that has been so successful in designing such a wide variety uh, of products. And this year, uh, DesignWorks is celebrating its 40th uh, anniversary. So they're making strong contributions to our future and to the future of uh, many other companies. Uh, now, uh, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about the future of BMW. And um, you know that uh, the future will bring a very different kind of mobility, uh, especially in a city uh, like Los Angeles. Everybody wants to be mobile, needs to be mobile. This city loves cars, uh, and there is a lot of changes coming our way. BMW will continue uh, to provide premium products, um, and uh, of course they will have the look and feel of premium products. And in uh, the design of premium products, it's all about attention to detail, it's about precision, it is about refinement, and it is about exquisite materials. Uh, and I would almost uh, venture to say that we know how to do that. Now going forward into the future, uh, there is a new aspect uh, that will enter our design world, and that is sustainability. And when you think about sustainability, you probably think about uh, different aspects. It's about uh, recycling, it's about uh, different types of materials, it's maybe, uh, as you would expect, more rational in its approach, and maybe uh, the aesthetics uh, would suffer as a consequence. But that, of course, could not be uh, the answer uh, for BMW Group. So our approach uh, to this new kind of mobility is going to be and that we're going to combine um, these two things, premium and uh, sustainability. Uh, we have developed a completely new design language to express this, and we're going to call that next premium. But it's probably easier to discuss that uh, if we give you a little bit of an idea of what that's going to look like. So I would say, let's have a look right now.
much. Um, these concept vehicles actually give you the closest indication yet uh, of what we are going to come into the market with next year, starting next year. Let's start with this vehicle here uh, on this side, uh, Concept I-8. This is our idea of a sports car of the future. This is a vehicle in which uh, you can drive out of your garage uh, in electric mode, no sound, no emission. And then out on the open road, you can press the accelerator and then uh, you will access power or performance that is comparable to an M3. And when you get back home, uh, you will realize that your fuel consumption is at the level of a small city vehicle. So this is a combination that uh, we feel uh, is not available in the market today. Uh, so we see a real market opportunity here, talking about the design. As a sports car, of course, it has to look uh, like it will move fast. There is some elements that uh, you will recognize from the BMW mother brand, like the kidney-shaped grille. Unlike uh, other BMWs, they are not used to take in air because we need less air uh, in this type of uh, drivetrain. When you look at uh, the side of the car, then you see the forward motion, the dynamic uh, that this car uh, will also have you experience. And you see also that in the design of this vehicle, uh, we really took great care to optimize the aerodynamics. Um, things like uh, the C-pillar design, where the air can actually move through, um, have uh, allowed us to create a car uh, with a drag coefficient uh, that is going to set some records in this type uh, of vehicle. Looking at the rear of the car, not only you will appreciate the modernity of the car, uh, you will probably see that it uh, is a, a very sporty vehicle, but uh, I think we are achieving this without the typical sports car connotations. You won't find any exhaust or very wide tires that you normally see in this vehicle category. In the interior then, um, the design also expresses uh, the movement, the speed uh, that you will be able to drive this car with. And then of course the cockpit envelopes the driver. Um, driver orientation is something that BMW is known for. So this is uh, the concept i8 uh, in a uh, concept version still, uh, but I can tell you that the production car will be very true uh, to this uh, vehicle that you see here. Over on this side, uh, the concept uh, i3 coupe is a good indication of what we think uh, the future of the city vehicle, or mega city vehicle if you will, uh, should look like. Uh, here too, um, we are um, developing something completely new. Uh, this is an electric vehicle, um, uh, or um, a vehicle that is built in carbon fiber, so it will be extremely light. And all this new technology, we felt, uh, warrants a very new and futuristic design. The front, you will recognize as part of the BMW family. The side view, uh, you will notice that it's a completely different proportion, a one-box or monovolume proportion, which allowed us uh, to offer maximum interior space on a minimum footprint. Uh, the carbon fiber structure allowed us to have very big glass openings, so you have very good uh, all-round visibility, especially uh, notable here uh, in the design of the C-pillar, which is completely transparent, so when you look over your shoulder when changing lanes, uh, you will actually have very good overview over traffic. And then, um, coming briefly uh, to the design of the rear of the vehicle, you'll see very modern detailing in how the tail lamps are set underneath the glass. A very flush look uh, and a very modern look, we believe. Um, and the interior uh, continues that theme. Uh, it is showing lightness, it is showing modernity. Uh, it looks very futuristic, I believe, and um, very much like the concept I-8, also this concept gives you a very, very close look uh, at what the production vehicle will look like next year. So, uh, these two vehicles represent our idea uh, of tackling the challenges of the future, uh, of basically um, developing a new kind of mobility, um, that we are able to develop other kinds of mobility as well, you will see on the show stand uh, all around us. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you uh, for joining us here uh, at this press conference. And I'd like to invite you to the mini press conference, which will happen further down in this hall at 4.40. Thank you very much.